Okay, this is a bit of an odd video because it assumes that you are sitting looking at the 2018 National 5 Computing Science uh, Assignment Task. Okay, so I'm sitting looking at a, a PDF of that right now. Uh, you'll find the PDF online or you probably already downloaded it, your teacher will give it, whatever. Uh, normally I would just go ahead and share this out to you so you can see it on the screen at the same time. But to be honest with you, the intention with this video is just to sort of fairly quickly uh, run through it and kind of pick up the, the salient points. I don't really want to be flicking backwards and forth on the screen. I just want to keep everything very Python focused as we go through and we do this. So hopefully, you, hopefully you've had a chance to read through the analysis of this program. You've got the input process the output. You've read the assumptions, which gives you information on the validation, etc. that's going to happen. And you're now sitting, staring at the structure diagram that they've given you. Uh, scratch your head and going, where do I start? Well, you start from the beginning. So let's go ahead and stick in a title for this. So this is the 2018 um, National 5 assignment. Okay. And it starts off nice and simple, loop five times. So for a counter in range five, and we're going to get a valid reading. Okay. So what is a valid reading? So a valid reading is between zero and 100%. Okay, so and we're going to have to store that because there's five of them. Okay, so let's have a look. So look five times, round the counter, etc. So I'm going to need an array. So let's go ahead and create an array straight away, and we'll call it readings. And it's an array of uh, floats. So we do for x in range five. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to change that counter to index just so it's easier to read for us later on. So input validation is ask, repeat, error, ask. So we're going to ask question. So the question that we're going to ask is to please enter reading one. So let's do that. So print. Please. Enter reading. We need the value for this, so it is going to be index plus one. Please enter reading one. So we're going to store that in readings. Index equals uh, float because it's a real number. Uh, input. Okay, so we ask, repeat, so while readings index is less than zero or readings index is greater than 100. Okay, so we ask, repeat, error, print. Readings should be between zero and one hundred. Error ask. Copy that. Make sure they're indented. Okay, so ask, repeat, error, ask. Right, I think I've I've done enough to maybe test the program a wee bit, so let's run it, see if I've got any major typos in there. So all I'm doing is I've saved it and I've hit the run button. Well, should I hit the run button? Uh, let's see. So please enter reading one. That looks all right. Don't look any problem with that. Let's try some values in what I can't have. Yeah, that's fine. I get the error. Let's try another value in what I can't have. That's fine. Oh, readings with an extra R. Uh, well, that's good. Yeah, okay, cool. Did that. Total typo. Run that again. So let's get that wrong. Um, so uh, minus that. One, two, one. Looks okay. Four. Perfect. Reading two, five, there. Right. I'm relatively happy with that. So it does that. So it says round to reading two zero decimal places. 
OK, so we've got this reading. So now what we're going to do is we're going to inside the same loop because we're still inside the same part in the search diagram. So readings. So index, it does seem silly to round it, doesn't it? I could just add it in there and then that would do it. But let's just do what it says. Readings index equals round readings index to zero decimal places. OK, so what that'll do is that'll then just take the to zero decimal places. So it's going to round it up or down. So it's not as the same as doing that as doing an int. It is doing that. And then again, we're still inside the same for loop. OK, so uh, that's not going to be inside there because it's inside the while. So for index and range, yeah, that's fine. So right then it does that. That's fine. Let's base that down a wee bit so we can see what we're actually doing. Right, um, is the reading greater than 8 than 80? So if readings index greater than 80, uh, add signal, add S2 signal pattern. OK, so I'm going to need a pattern. So let's call it signal. So we're going to add an S on there. So signal equals signal plus um, S. We're going to concatenate an S on the end of it. OK. So it then says, no, is the reading less than 30? OK, so else if readings index less than 30. Uh, yes, add a P onto it. So signal equals signal plus a P. And if it's no, add an M onto it. So signal equals signal plus Guessing these all should be capitals actually. So let's just go ahead and make these capitals so it looks a wee bit more professional. A S. Right. So I've done an awful lot of typing there. Can I test this to see what works? Well, there's not actually much point testing at this point because all I can test for is to see if it's going to crash. So I can go ahead and I can run it. But I'm not going to display anything. OK, so signal. So I do have a, a signal spelt wrong. So signal P, singal. Signal. Do that again. All I can do is test it, see if it's going to crash. Crash that time. OK, it didn't crash. No idea if it works, but it didn't crash. So let's have a wee look and see how it's going. So on to the next step, display signal partner with message. OK, so the message is going to be something like signal partner is. So print signal pattern is. So I'm up signal. Run that now. I'm going to put in the values that it's got on this page, which is 89, 82, 56, 12, and 99. So it says the signal partner is SSMPS, which is the same as I've got for this output on the test page. So I'm fairly happy at the moment. The program's doing what I was I'm meant to be doing. And it's then going to say, look five times, display uh, message. Oh, sorry, loop five times, display rounded reading with message. And the message is going to be reading one and that. So for index in range five, and it's going to be print uh, 
reading. Oh, I need something is in there. Reading index plus one. Dash the comma. And then it's going to be um, readings, wasn't it? Readings index. OK, so it's then display the index. And I go ahead and I run the program and I'm going to put in again the test value, the test data that it gave me because I'm looking to see the same thing. So it's 89, 82, 56, 12, 99. Okay, point zero. Because I've rounded to zero decimal places, but it's round to zero. And it still stayed as a float, didn't it? Because it's been set as it. So let me just a wee look. A nine. Oh, lost pages. 82, 56, 12, 99. And there we go. Right, so the way I fixed that error was to simply take away off the round to the comma zero, which then means that in Python, it rounded it to an integer rather than rounding it to a float with zero decimal places, which would still technically give you the point zero at the end of it. But we spotted that on the test run. And we went and we fixed that at the line. So there is our completed program. It's taken us a wee bit of time to do it, I suppose, uh, but not too much. I'll just zoom out so you can kind of see it all at once. Okay, and that's a completed program. The only thing I would uh, do if I wasn't doing this so quick is as I was typing the lines, I would put a wee bit of internal commentary in, just to uh, pull the information out of the structure diagram so that it knows what we're doing. So loop five times, get a valid meter reading, uh, get a valid uh, reading, etc., and then work all the way through that. So hopefully that's been helpful. We have created the program and made sure we have got the output. And then what you would do is go on and do the rest of the task where you have to do uh, your own output to produce the pattern MPS PS okay which you should be able to do that very quickly before finally printing your evidence off so it's a relatively straightforward task it is making use of uh, two things it's making use of string handling so what we're doing is we're using concatenation to join onto the end of a string we're also making use of uh, an array and that array we're getting the reading in as a float we're then converting that reading to a rounded integer. We can't just use int or it would truncate uh, the value there. Um, and that's us. So hopefully that helped.